Hello everyone, it's Mr. Majestic bringing to you a Minecart Depot. Basically how this works is it was made for a mine shaft kind of thing. When you go mining, you want to be able to get a lot done without making multiple trips up to your chests and then back and forth all the time. So I was like, what if we have a minecart track that goes down underground and basically will take the items in minecart chests up to here where you can collect them inside your base. So what I did was I got where are they? Here. Alright, you have your set off point basically from your mine where you'd put your chest and you'd bank your items in there and you'd send the chest off. And you can send in this version up to six minecart chests. Leave that six. Oh, one more. There we go. And then I added a feature where you can put your normal minecart and head down into this spot, which is like the spot where you can go rather than walking an alternative route. As you can see, there's all lit up lights and there's all the chest minecarts here ready for collection. Basically you can collect your chests again and the lights will still be on. As it says here, a lit torch means outbound so it means they need to be reset. As you can see the last light here where we came through is unlit and lit means safe to depart so we can't head back to the mine with these lights on. The good feature is that there's resets on each individual light so if you don't send six mine cards you can still reset it however there's a total reset they'll switch all of them and make it safe to depart so you can get back in your mine cart, send yourself back and you're back in the mine how this works is basically there's is it six junctions plus a last little bit. But the idea is that on the way in, the minecart will follow the junction in and it will get reset by a detector rail. The rail will switch this cart or track, sorry, via this T flip flop which will make it go that direction. When a cart comes here, it'll skip this turn off and go straight and into the second one. And then that detector rail will also switch this junction. So that will keep switching until you've gotten the last detector rail, which is here. And then it means that you can get back safely. You can actually get home in a mine cart through one of the depot things, however you'll lose maybe two hearts going through this kind of wall thingy. As an example, this one was changed manually by a button there, but to show you how that looks, you have one light on and the last safe to depart light is off. So you can just click that and it will reset the system. Likewise, you can turn on the light which is kind of stupid really, but can be done and you can just reset it. Basically, this is just a relatively compact version. It was developed from my first ever kind of experimental version. This one wasn't really thought out. It didn't have individual resets, it was just all resets. And it didn't have the light indicators whether or not the track was set to go or not. 
it was basically limited to about that many lines. So you have one, two, three, four, five lines with a transit lane. This design wasn't really tire level like it just got bigger and bigger the more lines you put in. Whereas this one is tire level and you can extend a lot more lines. However, these top lines make it a little bit messy if it's done that way. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you really want a tutorial on it, I'm happy to make one if enough people ask. And yeah, check out the other Minecraft stations or hidden railway entrances that I have on my channel. Or check out our Let's Play series also on this channel. Thank you. See ya.